Uh, I will give uh, a little bit of a, a different perspective, I think, uh, a perspective um, that uh, takes into account uh, not what is going on, but what should go on instead. Uh, from what we see, uh, there is a lot of activity that uh, starts from where you are and what we have, and instead of uh, discussing what, what should we have and, and uh, what, what can we do to, to become better. And um, I think that we, we are uh, in the mid of, of uh, development activity in, uh, at my university then, in Örebro University, and uh, uh, a lot of research assessment exercises in Sweden, uh, actually at my other university, Royal Institute of Technology, KTH, um, we have uh, about the same. Uh, but I start with um, um, uh, uh, to, to discuss how does science uh, grow and how do you make science. To, to start with that, I think it's, it's a good thing. From that you can actually then go to the question how to measure science. And, of course, uh, then discuss whether there are uh, any models for performance-based funding that are available. Uh, and I will show a model uh, uh, that is now under discussion at, at Örebro University. Um, required for such a system is, of course, that it should be neutral to any aspect of scientific activity. Uh, it should be neutral to field of science, so it uh, has to um, be fair to humanities as well as uh, to physics. It should be fair when it comes to gender, so it has to be uh, equal for, for uh, both genders. And um, it should be ne neutral in relation to basic and applied science, and so on. Um, it shouldn't... Uh, uh, be unfair to interdisciplinary research, of course, um, or any other type. And, and these are the requirements. Uh, sorry. Um, scientific activity is, is very special because there are only scientists in, in communities that can uh, evaluate a, a scientific uh, a proposition. No other one can, can actually come to, uh, with, with any interesting uh, comments to that. It's, it's only decided by the research community. And uh, the research community then has uh, a development at research fronts. Topics that are discussed, and uh, you, you see publications that relate to different topics. So you have these research fronts. What they are trying to do is to, to have results accepted by the research community. And when it is accepted after some time, it will be uh, added to the research core. The, the, the body of knowledge, knowledge that is accepted by the research community, temporarily, of course. It changes all the time, and uh, uh, some bits of the research, research core is taken away because new results have been uh, published uh, and accepted. Uh, and this system then builds on, on uh, gatekeeping. Uh, to some extent, invisible colleges, but uh, also uh, visible colleges in the, in the, in the, in, uh, as we call them, peer review, uh, the, the peer review system. And um, this, in order for, for such a system to work, you have to have some, some uh, communication channels that are fast, uh, and uh, for the, this we have journals. I would say that books are for uh, summarizing what is in the core, and uh, the, the, to, to mm -hmm. sort of summarize what is really uh, what is accepted by the research community in this specific field. And the research community is then uh, a lot of uh, uh, many different communities. Uh, there are small ones, there are big ones. Physics uh, is, to some extent, a very large community. 
uh, but, and there are a, a lot of small communities in, in the humanities. That poses some problems. Uh, I think we can skip this as we have a lot. Uh, um, and, and, and this is a, a figure that gives you uh, an idea of, of, uh, of uh, research front and uh, core knowledge. So, so there are a lot of activities at the, at the front where there are also a lot of disagreement. So researchers fight at the research front. Uh, and, and that's why, as we have then a number of technologies, to some extent the fight translates to manipulation and, and other things that uh, we have heard he about uh, in, in the former lecture. Um, I think that uh, these are, uh, at least in, in my view, marginal things, but it, it has been uh, more, uh, been more uh, uh, problematic as we tend to focus more on technologies for publication, and we see that as a mean in, instead, as, uh, in, instead of focusing on the objective of uh, scientific knowledge. Um, when there is a research program where, where the community, which the community relates to, or different research programs that they relate to, you have as a fierce competition, the results are articles. But the, the, what is happening at the research front is not really accepted uh, because there is so much disagreement. So that's the, the, that is the peer system, who is the gatekeepers that uh, keeps the results away from the, from the research core, which then can be fi found in, in handbooks, in readers, in books, and Wikipedia, and, and uh, at other places. Um, if, the, if we look at peer review, we can uh, discuss different types of peer review uh, in relation to this. Uh, from my point of view, Bibliometrics is, is the, uh, the best way of peer review because every researcher is involved. So we have a bibliometric peer review also. Um, the classical peer review, which we have discussed to some extent here, the journal editor who receives uh, uh, a contribution from one researcher and, is, and then is um, evaluated by three peers. It is possible then to, to find the best ones uh, or, or the most functional ones. Um, but in, in normally, when we discuss peer review, we think of scientific committees at research councils. And in this case, there is six persons who evaluate uh, proposals or applications from a huge number of researchers, maybe 100, uh, 200 uh, applications. And uh, the problem is that there are always some people who will come in the, in the shadow because they uh, do not fit with the e evaluation committee. That is, how do you fit with the, the evaluation committee? Yeah, you can, of course, uh, uh, be uh, a col former collaborator with the one of, in the committee, as uh, Henk uh, showed us. But there is also the thing that whether you, your topic is represented and understood in the evaluation committee, uh, can, can uh, determine how your application is treated. And uh, we well, have a lot of examples to show this, uh, where there is a, a sort of cognitive bias towards different areas because of the selection of reviewers. And uh, to some extent, the, the, this cognitive bias then is more towards the new uh, research lines or research trails while the, the, the old ones uh, is, is uh, 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 not really discriminated. Uh, and so the council model, the problem with the council model is that you tend, in a group of six, come to an agreement not on what is happening at the research front, because when you sit there, you have to defend some of your applications, and, and to argue for these applications, you have to uh, then relate to what uh, is in the core in order to, to have good arguments. 
And, and this, so the, the tendency, tendency for, for a, a council model is to, to what is happening at the research front is not really what you can uh, uh, discuss because your discussion comes closer to the research front. Uh, and so there is a conservative uh, tendency within councils, council procedures, even if every single researchers want to, perf to, to promote the, the re most recent research in the discussion, because uh, always there is a consensus discussion in research councils. So, so the result is that you, you take the, the researcher that has been producing things that has been accepted by the core, to the core, and you uh, say no to, to those that are, uh, come with interesting results at the research front. So, so this is really inefficiency in a, in a research system, I would say. You promote those who have done good results 10, 15 years ago, which we saw very clearly in, in a huge assessment we did for, for uh, uh, excellent centers, that they were, they were selected based on, on uh, what they produced during the early 1990s. And then 10, 15 years later, they were promoted with excellent centers and a lot of money, which actually then, sh uh, when we looked it up, bibliometric performance, it went down uh, for, for almost all scientific centers, excellent centers, except for one. So what, is, what would be um, uh, at, uh, another model that promotes what is happening at the research front? Well, that would be a reward model based on, on publication databases only. Uh, and, and to use the bibliometric peer review, where all your colleagues international colleagues then are uh, active. Every time they write an article, publish an article, they have in the references a vote for you or a not, a not vote um, if they do not uh, uh, cite to your publications. So with a reward model to, to uh, uh, reward the best performances during the latest period, would, which would be maybe 2008 until 2011 today, and to, to, to leave room for uh, articles to, to receive citations. Um, I think also that grants should be given to individual researchers, so not, not to, to the, the um, different levels at the university, but uh, you should have direct link between performance and funding uh, incentive than for the researcher. Um, of course, it can be combined with uh, many other models, but um, basically this, this reward model then focuses on what is happening at the research front. It's only, only those things that have been happening at, uh, uh, at the latest period and which, which comes with the, with the most interesting uh, proposals for, for uh, new discussions that are selected. And it's, it's not really dependent on the, re, uh, the research core. Um, if you, if you uh, just uh, uh, visualize this, uh, you see that publication statistics builds on the wisdom of crowds. So, because everyone has a vote. Uh, with the ref in the reference list. And, and the styles of research and the research subjects, so all that stuff is, is due to what is happening in the research system. Uh, now the question is how can you actually translate this, this into something that is uh, uh, made to an uh, incentive system where you pay for uh, uh, performance? Yeah. The focus is on actual citations. We have discussed today a lot of journal impact factors, what is expected when you, when you uh, publish in a, a certain journal. But that is totally crazy, I would say, because uh, what you will uh, receive of citations in a journal, that depends on, on whether you have done anything interesting for the, for the community or not, and, and not how, uh, 
the, the citation picture or the citation distribution was uh, before that. Uh, there are a lot of papers published in Nature which do not receive any citations. High impact journals do not only produce uh, or publish uh, good papers. Um, there is also a problem with field normalized citation rates. Because if in some areas where there is a, a very skewed distribution of, of citations, uh, you, you, you will need to be above 70% uh, uh, in order to be, have the, the average, 70% of, of articles. So if, if you have a, an area, if you're active in an area of, um, for example, physics, where all the, the community is very uh, fast in knowledge uh, dis diffusion and everyone can more or less evaluate what is a, a new result, if it's good or bad. This is not the case in, in many of the social science fields because the, 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 the differences are, are, are uh, uh, much larger and, and the, the concepts, uh, concepts are, are uh, not uh, integrated. But in, in physics, so if a result is really important, what will happen is that you will receive a lot of citations to a, a single or, or a couple of articles and uh, this makes the, the uh, citation distribution then. So you have uh, a few articles with many, many citations and a lot of articles with uh, very few. Uh, so, so competition rules are, are then makes it necessary to use percentiles instead. You look for the top 1%, those that have received the 99th percentile uh, of citations, uh, or top 5, top 10, top 25. You should, depending on, on, uh, on how your university functions, then uh, of course discuss if you want to go for the top one, top five, or, or if you want to give uh, some, some uh, uh, reward also to top 25. And you can do that, and uh, this is uh, in the discussion in, at my university. We have a, a reward model like this. If you publish in a, 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 a a field where you receive top 1%, you re receive 120,000 euros. In top 5, 80,000 euros, top 10, 40,000 euros, and top 25, uh, 10,000 euros. That is, the, the, the sums can, of course, be <laughs> very different, depending on how much money you want to redistribute according to performance. Uh, now you, you understand that uh, publication cultures are not given by God. Um, and uh, uh, to give you one example of this, the Natural Research Council in Sweden in 19, 1975 started the, the so-called Swedish model where they uh, had evaluators coming in from, from the US and from other countries to evaluate physics and chemistry in Sweden. So seven, eight people uh, evaluated the whole field. And they, they, it worked well. They, they said, uh, you are good, and, and so on. Um, uh, and, but then they came to biology and, and uh, uh, geology. And they, these areas had a very different publication culture. They published in Swedish journals and they published in, uh, in institutional reports, department reports. Uh, and so, so we evaluators couldn't read and could, could, didn't have any material for their evaluation. So this sto they started a discussion in the, in the council. What should happen now with publications? And, and what should we count? They have the, more or less the same problem as we have still today, uh, but they took another route. They said, we will not accept Swedish journals in, in Swedish anymore. And, and the Natural Research Council had uh, given money to a lot of different journals. They stopped this. And, and they also uh, they uh, recommended universities to have another publication strategy when it comes to 
uh, dissertations. So dissertations was not published as, as uh, uh, department reports any longer. They were uh, published as, uh, um, should be published as uh, journal papers and collections of, of uh, papers. Over a five year period, the publication culture in biology and geology changed. Only five years. And I, I, we, when we have the system now in Sweden on the national level, where we then use only Web of Science papers and, and uh, to, for re, re, redistribution of, of state uh, basic funding. And this, what has happened is that the humanities now and the soft social sciences have started to publish in international journals. Of course, this is not a, a recommendation to stop publishing in national journals. It's just that you, you, you distribute your, uh, your own activity according to a new model. Um, and um, uh, of course, this is a problem that the, 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 the citation index covers most journal articles. Now there are 15 to 20,000 journals uh, that are covered. Uh, book chapters, reports, books, and, and uh, conference proceedings are not covered to, to the same extent. So uh, as, as Hank showed that there is a, a problem with coverage, or I'm not sure that it, it's a, a problem, because if we treat each field as icebergs, where we see much more in chemistry and physics, while we don't see uh, what is happening in computer science uh, humanities. We can actually, as, as natural scientists, they can calculate and estimate the size of icebergs with only knowing what is the tip of the iceberg. It's, it's, it's nothing complicated. And it's not complicated to actually uh, estimate the production of uh, the humanities depending on, on these, this iceberg a growing tip of the iceberg, of course, but still. So uh, uh, we call it field-adjusted production, which should be the, the weight for, for the, uh, the, the production of different disciplines. Uh, and uh, so, so publication frequencies differs between uh, areas. And the question is, how many articles do you publish by, uh, is published by a normal author in, in uh, the, your region that we took uh, Nordic countries, uh, Sweden, Finland, Denmark, and Norway as the reference base. And uh, with a, a statistical model called Waring Estimates, we also then can uh, include those that do not publish because the humanities, they have a, a tipperg the tip of the iceberg, which is uh, the, the publishing authors visible in, in the web of science. But then you have a huge number of other huma in humanities which do not publish. So, so the publication frequency for the humanities is then lower. The reference value becomes lower than in, in physics and chemistry. Um, I, I don't go into the, the methodology. The, you, you can read it in... in uh, papers we have written um, on, on, on this, this est estimation method. So what you need in order to be able to do this for, for the Nordic countries, or, or if you did it for the Baltic countries, for example, would be to disambiguate uh, uh, all into unique individuals, and then you have the, 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 the frequency over a, a time period of four years, for example. So then you have uh, actually a reference value for each field. Uh, and the, from this you can create the, the field adjusted production. And uh, this is maybe hard to see, but uh, uh, this is number of uh, macro fields. Uh, it's about 20 macro fields. Uh, and the number of source journals and the reference values. And you see humanities in the bottom, they have a, a reference value of 0 0.17, which translates to uh, 
uh, one publication from one publication from from a humanities person would translate to 6.25 researchers uh, full-time researchers uh, uh, activity and in in top ten physics uh, uh, is is less than than one of course so but now we take fractions into account so we we use publication fractions and and uh, uh, divide with, with the, the, the reference value over the time period. And uh, what happens is that we can then give rewards to research based on these weights and to, uh, the, the, the fraction of papers that have, have received the, 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 the different uh, reward levels. One, top one, top five, top 10, top uh, 25. Uh, so when, when you then use the, the, the field adjusted points, the weights, with the, 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 whether the article has received the level, you have uh, suddenly a monetary sum uh, that should be given then to, to uh, uh, each researcher. Uh, and I will show uh, the top uh, uh, receivers at, uh, at my, uh, my, my, in my university. What we see when we, we look at results is that the humanities and the social sciences comes out very well. Uh, actually, they, they are on top. Uh, and this is, of course, because they, they collect more money uh, per individual researcher than the natural sciences who publish a lot because uh, they are not paid as rewarded in the same issue to the same extent. But the question, the, the, what we want to perform is to have a system that gives the same amount of money to the humanities as to the natural sciences. And in order to be able to do that, we have to give more money to, to some of the individuals in the humanities. Otherwise, it would be unfair, of course, on, on the, on the uh, level of fees. Uh, so I, I should, uh, also we, we, we find that female researchers are uh, well represented at the top. So there's no problem with that. Uh, I, I'm, <laughs> uh, I'm lucky to be uh, in this position. So because uh, female res researchers are always uh, say hello to me and, and uh, go on working. Um, and uh, there are no visible differences between applied or basic research. Uh, uh, there are no uh, uh, visible differences when it comes to interdisciplinary uh, activities because we have at, at my university a number of initiatives and centers that try to do interdisciplinary research. Uh, but I don't go into that uh, here. Uh, so I show you now the, the top rewarded researchers. On top, is a, there are, I think, one, two, three, four, five, six female researchers at the very top, receiving uh, the, uh, a lot of the money. Uh, they are in humani humanities, uh, medical sciences, and this is um, uh, care, sci uh, care me medical science. We have two researchers in, in the music school, so it's music studies, which is uh, unexpected, I would say. This is very humani humanities uh, uh, research. And uh, um, the J JPS is uh, law studies and media studies. Then comes the natural, uh, uh, and, and tech natural science and technology, engineering sciences, business school on, uh, I think, uh, uh, at uh, place 10, Michael Svensson. Uh, this is the only problem we have with the business school. They do not perform and, and uh, would lose money. Uh, from from uh, the figures, about 35% of all researchers receives uh, at least uh, 5,000 euros. No, 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 uh, uh, 500 euros it should be. Yeah. Uh, so that is the smallest amount given. Uh, uh, but uh, it ranges up to 100,000 euros, because you divide with 10 here to, to have the, the uh, euro figure. 
when it comes to distribution over faculty areas or, or uh, uh, how our, my university is organized, so you find that business studies receive 5%. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, as, I, as I said, business studies, uh, business economics, uh, their uh, um, percentage of the, the total rewards is lower than expected. It's half of what would, would be expected if you look at how they are uh, funded today overall. But the humanities and the medical school is about... Uh, what would be expected in a total range of a couple of uh, maybe two, three uh, percentages. Uh, media and law studies, a little bit above. Music studies, very much above. Uh, and uh, uh, natural and engineering studies, a little bit, a uh, 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 couple of percentages too low. Uh, we also have a restaurant school. Uh, but but it, the, this, of course, is a performance model, and you cannot redistribute money uh, according to what what has been the case. This is this is uh, incentives for going for the best publications and to to really contribute to the discussion in your scientific community, and in order to to receive citations. Mm -hmm. Actually, we find in when we uh, have seen now for. Uh, since 2009, it's um, five years of uh, uh, implementing a model for redistribution of uh, uh, floor funding to universities that some of the universities, universities now implement a policy where they uh, uh, then try to, to take down the number of publications from researchers. In, instead of publishing a lot, focus on publishing better articles. It's fewer but better is, is the uh, uh, line of reasoning here. Uh, this, is, uh, th this is especially the case at Karolinska Institute, which now uh, then tries to go for the, for the top journals and to, to contribute uh, with the, um, to the discussion in these journals instead of publishing a lot in every, in every corner of, of the scientific society. So, so, so these are, are intended consequences, I would say, because when, when the, the system was started, uh, we knew that Sweden did publish too much, and you, you, they sliced up their publications into as many as possible, uh, and, and uh, instead, now they, they try to put in as much information as possible. If you have one more figure, if you have one more uh, table, then the, 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 there, there is much better result uh, from, from your research. So uh, this, is, this is the picture uh, I can give. And, and uh, of course, it's um, a little bit different from, from uh, what, what uh, is the, the situation in, in these countries of uh, the Baltic. Thank you very much. Thank you so much about good news about so many rich female researchers and uh, uh, for your talk in general. Now uh, the talk is open for questions. Any questions? Just, just yes, please. No, I probably know the answer. How many journals do you publish in Sweden? You know? I mean, not international, not outside Sweden, let's say. But I, don't, I don't know the, the, the answer, but there were a, a number of journals that was also indexed by the, the ISI at that time in the, in the biology, for example, which was yeah. then taken away yeah. because they, they, they stopped publishing they, they stopped financing that journal, and, and uh, researchers didn't want to publish there. So th this is what I mean. With we, you shouldn't look at the the, how the, the situation is now. You should think about how should it be, and, and, and uh, uh, ask yourselves what should be a, 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 a good 
uh, and, and um, performance-related systems. 